Representing situation. We need to recognize these words and we need to know what symbol to use. If it is greater than, more than, we need to use greater than symbol. If the question mentions at least minimum, we need to put greater than or equals to. Next, if it is less than, we use the less than symbol. Not more than, at most, maximum, we need to use less than or equals to symbol. Let's try the first question. The maximum marks means we need to use the symbol of less than or equals to. For maths, paper 1 is 40, so I'm going to represent paper 1 as the alphabet X. While paper 2 is 100, so paper 2 will be the Y. This will be easier for us to write the linear inequalities. In order to pass the subject, the total marks for paper 1 and paper 2 must be at least 56 marks. The word at least, we must use greater than or equals to symbol. So the first sentence mentioned maximum marks for paper 1. So it will be X, maximum, we will use less than equals to 40. Paper 2, maximum marks is 100. So we will put there Y less than equals to 100. Next, in order to pass the subject, the total marks for paper 1 and paper 2. So the word total, we need to plus. We need to add them. So X plus Y. At least will be greater than or equals to 56 marks. So we will write 56 there. Therefore, we will get the three linear inequalities. If you want to learn more, I actually have it on my series in Cikgu Debbie's TikTok under part 2, Linear Inequalities Form 4. And you can get it there and watch it right on your screen. Basically, I'm teaching the whole chapter of Linear Inequalities Form 4.